The give and take on immigration reform has shifted from the U.S. Senate to the House of Representatives. If a bill is finally approved, it will decide who's allowed to get legal status in the United States, along with new measures to reduce illegal entry. In addition to the overall path to citizenship, there's interest in the Irish immigrant community about special visas proposed by U.S. Senator Charles Schumer. A meeting about the legislation will take place Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. in Dorchester at St. Brendan's Hall. To fill us in is a local supporter of the Irish lobby for immigration reform. He's also the publisher of the newspaper, The Irish Immigrant. We'd like to welcome Connell Gallagher. Thank you very much for being with us, Connell. Thank you for having me here today. It's a great pleasure. Well, first of all, talk about the, uh, the ebb and flow of Irish immigration. Uh, go back uh, 30 years, it was pretty heavy. Then it went down as uh, the Irish Republic boomed with its membership in the EU. And now uh, things don't look so good, and I guess more people must be coming here. Well, I think that's a very good synopsis of um, the recent history of immigration from Ireland. Um, I think the big change and difference worth noting is that currently the vast majority of immigrants out of Ireland are going places other than to the US. Um, 20 to 30 years ago, it could be said that a very large proportion were coming to America. There was opportunities for visas, there was opportunities for work. And um, in recent history, over the past 10 or so years, that has changed, both from a shortage of visa opportunities to uh, probably less work opportunity. And with the current wave of immigration out of Ireland, the vast majority have been to uh, Europe and to Australia and to Canada, with uh, a much smaller uh, number coming to the U.S. over the past few years. One of the other features uh, uh, of the legislation uh, that, that is a kind of a special feature, uh, these are the visas that were proposed by Senator Schumer. Uh, how, how would those work exactly? The E3 visa is uh, a provision that was brought forward as a way of normalizing the imbalance in opportunities for the Irish. Um, there has been a generational gap in immigration from Ireland in that a uh, majority of green cards go to um, people who have family connections and those are typically close family connections. Again, with the generational thing, uh, it is um, generally young people seeking opportunity in America who tend to seek to come to America as opposed to for family reunification. The E3 visa is modeled on an Australian program that was introduced as part of a um, commerce bill some years ago. And it was seen as the perfect opportunity to level out that imbalance in that it was very difficult for Irish people to emigrate to America because the majority of them were seeking, um, I guess, more economic opportunities than family reunification. And uh, in many cases, those types of visas can be very hard got. So the E3 was crafted as an opportunity for people with special skills in the trades or with special um, technical, educational skills to um, seek out jobs in America for uh, short periods of time and that that might then in turn serve as a stepping stone to more long-term visas, a green card, etc., as has been the case for the Australians. Uh, I, I guess there's, there have been some people saying, well, maybe that's not exactly fair. There might be some other people out there who want to get something to, or, or maybe they might um, have a something set up here so that the Irish coming in might be competing with people who have similar skills too. Well, my limited knowledge of the scope of immigration law is that it's probably on par with uh, tax law in that everybody's got a deal. Um, this, I think, is seen and being put forth as the best, fairest deal that will level the playing field for the Irish community. Uh, it was seen and it's widely held that the Irish were cut off from widespread opportunity in the uh, immigration reform of the mid 60s. And since then, it has been uh, become harder and harder to go after the, um, the much more competitive worldwide marketplace. So this opportunity for 10,000 short term visas per year is seen as a way of, uh, of closing that gap a little bit. Talk about the overall path to citizenship. I know this is not exclusively concerned people from Ireland, but uh, this is something that people need to be aware of and it's going to be very important. 
that is the single most important part of this bill. Uh, all of the more the modern immigration reform laws that have been changed since 1986 through the 90s have been closing the door almost permanently on people who've overstayed their welcome. It's a very punitive, a harsh punitive measure in that if you've overstayed your welcome by more than six months, you're barred from returning or seeking or obtaining any uh, visa for uh, at least 10 years. So in other words, if you've overstayed your welcome, if you're currently an illegal immigrant, you are barred from any form of visa uh, for at least 10 years. This path to citizenship is a long path that would allow people to go through that process without having to leave the country. They would incur whatever financial or other penalty that would be um, imposed on them. They would have to seek out employment or some form of process or path to becoming a um, legal resident. And having gone through the whole process, um, it, the benefit to those here is that they can do it while they're here without having to go back to the impoverished country that they were in. Or in the case of going back to Ireland, it's not the worst thing in the world, but you could be leaving a house full of children, an American wife, uh, etc. And I think this is uh, an opportunity to I bring people in from the cold. The, um, the Irish people who are in that proverbial limbo uh, are relatively small in number, but there's a few people that I know personally, small handful, but it's, um, it's, it's a very tough life for them. They're working under the table for uh, menial wages with citizen children and unable to travel, unable to um, need a normal life. And that's multiplied 11 million times over. Uh, for the Irish community, it's estimated that there are probably about 50,000 that are uh, undocumented in this country. Um, so as a proportion of the overall illegal immigrant community. It's relatively small, but very important. Talk about the, the importance of this meeting uh, on Wednesday night. This meeting is seen as a way to both rally the base, uh, who I don't think need to be converted, but certainly get them on the side of um, lobbying for what is um, wanted by many, many in the Irish community. And also as an informational meeting, the Irish Lobby for Immigration Reform was um, started uh, around 1986-87 prior to the last major um, efforts on immigration reform. Uh, things have been dormant for a short period of time and currently there's uh, a great vigour in the leadership of that organisation who I'm not directly involved with but certainly uh, see it as an important voice of the Irish community in the, um, the effort to bring about change and, and improvement in the immigration laws. Right, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for having me and uh, I would invite everybody Irish and non-Irish to come out to St. Brendan's on Wednesday evening at 7.30. Thank you very much for being with us. Publisher of The Immigrants, Connell Gallagher.